What's up everyone and welcome to my channel Mathlete. This is me Saad Salim and in today's video we're going to be learning how to use the table function in our Casio Classroom calculator and how we can use it to plot different graphs. It's a very useful feature irrespective of whether you're a O-level student, A-level or giving your SATs or even high school student for that matter. So and make sure that you watch the video till the very end because in the end I'm going to show you how you can generate a QR code. Yes, a QR code in your Casio calculator and you scan that code through your smartphone to check whether you've plotted the curve correctly or not. So once you scan it, it'll take you to the Casio website where you can see what the actual graph looks like. So I think this is this is like a major breakthrough because this feature its predecessor did not have and through this feature you don't actually have to wait for a teacher to check your answer and then grade you on it. You can just simply do that yourself. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. All right, so here we go. I've just written a random function here and I've left the y values blank. So we just we can, we can calculate using our calculator and see what they are. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press the menu button, right? And then I want you to navigate to where you see table and that you'll find at number nine, right? So there you go, enter into it. Now f of x, now what this basically wants us to do right now is enter the function as it is that we wish to find the y values of f of x is basically y, representing y, right? So I'm, I'm just going to punch this in as it is, so bracket open, x minus 2, bracket close, bracket open, x plus 3, bracket close, right? Press equals to to proceed. Now g of x. Now the good thing about this calculator is that it allows you to plot two functions uh, at once, right? The previous one only allowed us to do one. So I'm just going to ignore this function because we don't have any other function to plot. So equals two to proceed. Now the starting value, as you can see, I've taken it as minus three, right? So I'm going to change that to minus three. So there we go. The ending value, as you can see, is four. So I'm gonna change that to four. The step, now you need to understand what step is. Step is basically after what interval do you want the calculator to plot values, right? So here I can see that my interval is one, right? So minus three to minus two. So there's a constant difference of one. So I'm just gonna let the step be as it is. So equals two, so there you go. Now we have the corresponding y values. You can see that when x is minus three, our y is equal to zero. So let's just type in zero and then minus four when x is minus two, then negative six, then negative six again. And then let's, let's scroll down for more values. So there you go. When x is one, when x is one, it's minus four. When x is two, it's zero. When x is three, it's six. And then finally, when x is 4, it's 14, right? So here we have the corresponding y values which are calculator calculated for us. Now, here's the best part. What you do now is you press the shift button and then you press this option key, right? Ready? See. Now, I can actually scan my, scan, use my smartphone to scan this QR code and it'll show me what the curve looks like. I want you to use your smartphone and scan this QR code and see what it does. And whatever it does, let me know in the comment section. And by the way, if you download the app, the Casio EDU app, I'll leave, I'll leave the link to it in the description. It's, uh, it's available on the Play Store, whether it's available on the App Store or not, I'm not too sure about it. Uh, it'll take you directly to the app, right? So otherwise, it'll just open a browser for you. So remember to scan this QR code and let me know what it does in the comment section. So that's, that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.